previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Why would there even be a fire world? <gasps> Thanks, guys. I marked that one down as Fire World. Wow. How'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! Come on, Petra. I know it's tough, but we're the Order of the Stone. We don't just give up. Ah, I know you love your pep talks and all, Jesse, but they don't exactly get us any closer to home, do they? Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again. Uh, See? <sighs> This is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. All the portal frames do look kind of different. You're right. This one totally has a fire vibe. And that skull back there, that's the white pumpkin. There's... There's a system. Ah! Uh, Petra, where are you going? May not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's gotta be better than Fire World. Seems a bit flimsy. And what if there's no smart people, huh? You think about that? Yeah. We could just find ourselves at another... <laughs> Another psycho pumpkin mansion? Well, I'm willing to take that shot. So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just gonna go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Please, Petra, try to be rational. Oh, now you're calling me irrational? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody calm down! I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? I'm sorry, Petra. I think I just got carried away. I accept your apology. See? It's okay. Friends being friendly. Everybody being cool. 
Petra, if you really think that portal is the one we should go through... I do. Then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Jesse. Man, this place is desolate, huh? Nothing. How does anyone live here? Maybe there's, I don't know, like a redstone city or something behind that mountain over that hill? Hey, it's a rare biome. That's pretty cool, at least. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh... How you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. I just really thought that redstone meant something. Don't beat yourself up, Petra. We've seen worse. Yeah. No one's on fire. No squids. No squids on fire. Maybe you're right. Hmm. Would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? Hey, it's not little, but yes, probably. Can either of you see where it goes? Looks like this canyon we're in is blocked at the end, so... It's gotta lead somewhere. We're not gonna find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on! Sand, clay, and more sand. Hey, what was that? Ha! Ah, there are people here! Petra, wait! Petra? Shh! Get down! What is it? Look! Whoa! Right? So weird. Why isn't it on fire? Exactly what I was wondering. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen. Oh, I hope not. That would be the worst thing ever. Oh, come on! Worse than Fireworld? Or the Psycho Pumpkin's mansion? I got your back. This should be a piece of cake. Okay. Yeah, that that doesn't seem right. It was just one zombie. What was the problem? No, uh that thing was like Super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. Definitely seems weird. I don't think there's anything wrong with you, Petra. That was definitely the zombie. Super strong zombies? What in the world is up with that? Seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Well, that was unexpected. Did we do that? With what? 
the power of our imaginations? Hmm. What on earth is that thing? It definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things would make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! Ah! What they're doing exactly, but it is definitely time to get out of here. Fine by me! Fine. <gasps> they're leaving? Just like that? They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. Come on, I'm really starting to think someone is behind all this and I intend to find out who. We should follow them, see where they go. So, let's get moving. This architecture is fascinating. It's all sand and clay based. It's awesome. I've heard of quiet, but this is like mega quiet. Stay alert and don't let your guard down for one second. Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah. I want to see those, too. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. Okay, well then just don't wake them up. Okay, just rip it off. Fast. I want to do it. Oh, well, if you insist. No! It shocked me. Are you okay? Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look. There's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Nope. Nothing for me either. I don't like this. Maybe his hearing is bad or something? Ah, uh, that makes sense, I guess. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, just be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Welcome to Crown Mesa, population 1063. Over a thousand people? Not anymore, from the looks of it. Guys! Jesse? How goes the surveying? It goes weirdly. I'm convinced something strange happened in this place. I just don't know exactly what yet. I'll let you know if I find anything. Hey, Petra, how's it going over here? Fine, I guess. You got any theories about this place? I don't know. Everything seems so regular. Mundane. 
maybe before those glowy head things came along, this was a normal town. Hey, uh, I, I know things got a little tense back there before. Are, are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Things were tense, stuff was said, but we're still friends and got through it. It's nice of you to check in, though. Thanks. I'm going to keep checking this place out. See ya. Well, looks totally dry. Where did all the water go? Uh, hi there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use... Who the... What? Huh? Conversation go any better up close? We couldn't really hear from back there. We heard quite the... Well, not even a scream. More of a yelp. That guy I was just talking to, trying to talk to? He wasn't human. What? Yeah, he was like these zombies we've been seeing. Red eyes, weird glowy head thing. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on. Whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. Ha 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 ha! Yes, yes. There you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Just need to pocket these and get... Are you looking for something? Ah! That you, Pama? What? Okay, then. Okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Especially some weird-dressed little scrub like you. Come on, then. Out with it. Who's Pama? Ha! Huh. Like you seriously expect me to fall for that one? Must think I'm some sort of... Wait, you're serious? You don't know? Okay, eyes. Not red. Not red? But but that must mean... But how? If there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh, what was your first clue? What was that name before? Uh, pa Ma? I know it might sound crazy, but we came here through a portal. A portal? A portal portal? Really? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you've met them, right? Maybe there were some outside. They're, uh, distinctive looking now. Uh, sort of? I talked to a man outside. Just the one? Yeah? I know it's probably hard to understand right now, but if you meet any more people, please don't hurt them. They're my friends. They're good people. I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us. Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. They don't look anything. It's even freakier. Time to go. We plan. With you all the way. <laughs> nope. We're stuck. You are not from this place. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, but we're definitely from here. Pama knows this to be untrue. Pama sees all. A decision has been made. Karma has questions. Ah. You will come to Parma. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? Why not go? We certainly won't get to the bottom of this if we stick around here. 
I'm sorry, but we were actually on our way out. Sorry, we've got to run. Would but you look at the time? No need to show us the way out. We're not into big goodbyes. Ouch! Watch oh. it! <laughs> you will be made useful. <laughs> what? What happened? You went down. Hard. One punch and you were out. <gasps> what is... What is that? I have no idea. You don't suppose it's friendly, do you? Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking. In a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Friendly or not, I think we're about to find out. My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Tama. Greetings. We have much work ahead of us, but maybe it can even be fun. If you choose to cooperate, that is. What do you want with me and my friends? I am what you might call a computer, a thinking machine, designed to make things useful. I am going to help you be useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town, has helped them be useful, coordinated. I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity, no wasted thought. I am connected to them, and they are connected to me. A beautiful web of productivity and efficiency. Okay, if this world's so perfect, what happened to all the people? Yeah, doesn't seem like there are that many left. Processing information. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. Despite what you told these nice nice townspeople. I would like to ask you some questions to expand my database. How did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of your knowledge. Thrilled, even. We walked here. Walked. Elaborate, please. It's, uh, when you use your feet to take you someplace? You are attempting to be cute. Attempt failed. So far, your performance in question answering has been inadequate. This makes me sad. Now, I must use alternative methods to retrieve my new information. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have just talked this out, you know. I am just as upset as you are. Really, I am. Palma, hang on. Let's talk about this. What are you doing? I am going to make her useful, of course. No! Although, I can delay this process if you have something useful to tell me. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do. No more things or people to help. Until you arrived, that is. Tell me, what is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one, or completely different? It's a heck of a lot greener than this place. Just imagine grass and trees instead of sand and clay. That sounds lovely. It really does. I think I would like to see this world for myself. If I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. However you entered this world, there must also be an exit. Where is it? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. Help me to help you. Mama, I can't tell you because I don't know. Honest. After all, if we knew where it was, do you really think we'd still be here? Your logic is sound, and your tone is genuine. But the information is... not useful. 
My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Unfortunately, our conversation has not been helpful. Let me go! situation is looking a little dire, don't you think? I know you probably feel uncomfortable, concerned, but soon you will feel fine. Soon you will be useful. Let my friends go, now! <gasps> it's like you told Petra. Please be rational. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their head! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you've had. A killer mansion. Huh. Every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes. Like a computer version of thinking. Do you think this will be to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. Towns and mountains eaten by a living storm. An adorable pig friend. Let's ask Palma something that doesn't make sense, like an uh, unsolvable problem. Oh. You've met so many people. Yeah. We just ask Palma something really confusing, get it all busy busy, and run out of here. Jesse, that's fantastic. What you're describing is a paradox, a self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Palma. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me suspicious. Hey, Palma, what would you say if I told you it's weird to not be weird? If it is weird to not be weird, then that means that being weird is normal, which by the transitive property means that it is normal not to be normal. It's working! Therefore, being normal is weird, which means that it is weird not to be weird. Error. This data is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error. Diverting power. Yes, ha uh, uh, it worked! Nice work, new guys, but I'd get out of there fast if I were you. How much of a quicker learner than you think? Paradox status on roll. Gasp, my creator. Have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again. Come on, you two, get away. I'm sensing some history here. Please do not leave, creator. Stop calling me that. Come on, we need to follow her. An excellent idea. These. Excellent, Jesse. 
Now we just need to throw them in the right spot. As soon as they land... Your running makes me sad. Oh, why is that always so disorienting? Ha! Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. Better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing. Oh, no. Run! <laughs> Whoa! A signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palma. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. Some plan. You watch that sass now. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. That machine's got our friends. I still might be able to save them. But I really need your help. What kind of help? We need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm going to use the back route. Throw them off our trail. See you in a few. You sure you'll be okay on your own? Hey, I've managed to stay alive this long, haven't I? <clears throat> just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What? She is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. <laughs> so strange. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. This isn't in the painting. <gasps> Time to see what it does. Quickly, quickly! Hope you've got an idea for what comes next. Working on it. See water, we can aim for that. Looks like Bob is showing everything it's got at us. One after the other! Such wastefulness! Let's not wait around for these mobs to start paying attention. We should keep moving. Palma keeps sending them straight over the edge. There's no need to rush. And looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself! Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes! Their color changed as soon as it hit the water. Which might mean... Don't get too close. Whatever just happened to that zombie, it still might be dangerous. Huh, the water must have busted the connection or something. Like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. Ah! Once a zombie, always a zombie, I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal, too. It seems like a fair assumption. They just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave-in coming up. That should do the trick. Let's see about this secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. 
It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. Blah! Palm has completely ruined the word useful for me now. I didn't actually know you cared so much. You really want to help Petra and Lucas, huh? I still have a few surprises up my sleeve. I must say that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I'm still not entirely sure what to make of her. Granted, her creation nearly ended up destroying this world, but considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. Intriguing, Ivor? Why, whatever do you mean by that? I, what? It's nothing. I just mean that I can empathize when it comes to your creations getting out of hand. Nothing more. <clears throat> Careful with all that sputtering. You'll swallow your beard. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palmer's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. It's not my favorite. Don't worry, they can't get in. It'll be fine. Yeah, I also thought they couldn't make it down here. Look how that worked out for us. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Whoa, you know about the hallway? <laughs> the hallway? That's what you've been calling it? <laughs> yes, maybe. What do you know about it anyway? A lot, I should think. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you <gasps> an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. I just... I can't believe it. Okay, well, if you're an old builder, can't you do something to stop Pama? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Pama's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Pama couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Pama didn't try and spread to other worlds. Keep trying to make things useful. Okay, well, that's fine. Can't you just build another one? You basic or something? I can't do that while Palma's still running. So, Palma, what is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Palma decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead, figure out how to stop it. And you just let Pama start shoving chips in people's heads? That's horrible. Let nothing. I did everything I could to try to convince Pama to stop, but it wouldn't listen. That's why I have to help it or shut it down without getting chipped myself. When Pama chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palma would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Yes, that is quite the extraordinary risk. Okay, that's definitely scary, but we're not just going to leave my friends chipped up, though, right? We can still help them? I do think I can help you with, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're going to need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, friend Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Thanks. See? I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be.
Wow, what a builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. I don't know, I'm starting to think that you just like complicated machines. Watch yourself there, newbie. Don't know if you noticed, but water is kind of Palma's weakness. Yes, we had figured it out, actually. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. Oh, no. I still need to activate the other cauldrons. Hold them off to buy me more time. And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. You only delay the inevitable. Get out of their heads, Palma. Your friends have been made useful. You, too, will be made useful. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra, please, you have to fight it. There! Lucas, let's try and talk this out. The time for talking over. Remember the last cauldron. Well, then do it quick! There! Lucas? Darn it. Jesse, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of remembering something from when I was chipped that seemed very important to Palma. Tall, glowing red lights, but I, I, I can't quite make out what they are. It's like a fuzzy dream, kind of, kind of giving me a headache, but I, I can try to remember it more clearly if you need me to. It was so strange sharing other people's senses and thoughts and memories at the same time. It's all like one big blur now. Just take it easy for a minute. After what you went through, you could probably use some rest. <sighs> Thanks, Jesse. You bet. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. What's so important about this Harper person? She may have come across like just another weirdo, but she's actually an old builder. She built the portal network, which hopefully means she can help us get home. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people, and that will hopefully free Lucas too. Whoa. Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure Harper hasn't, you know, completely lost it? 
When people are by themselves for a really long time, it's bad for their health. Hey, think about how long she's been alone. Nothing but this lab and mindless Palma people for company. I'd be a little odd, too. Let's cut her a break, okay? I'd say that's a reasonable request. She may have built this place a little weird, but I guess we shouldn't judge her too harshly. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Good point. Right now, we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. A little weird. Good morning, Orber. It is Harry. It is always so good to see you. You should not let yourself feel guilty. You have the best of intentions. You are like a flower in the desert and bring joy to those who have none. Okay. Here you go, Harry. Nice. Looks like I'm on the right track. They look so happy. Activates the circuit. Neat. Hello, Harper. It's Margaret. So good to see you. Hope you've been well. You've got to melt that ice around your heart and forgive yourself. You're not the one to blame. So what do you think of Harper's lab? I'm highly impressed. Although that painting does make me sad. Look how happy they used to look together. Hey, did you hear these fake friends Harper's got set up? Yes. I feel sorry that she was so alone. She felt like that's what she had to do. Reminds me a little of Soren. Yeah, you're right. That's why it's good we're here to help. Hey, Harper. It is wonderful to see you. You've always been like a bright beacon, a torch of hope to this world's citizens. Brighter than all the world's redstone. You made all our lives better. She read to keep busy. There's so much techno babble and numbers in here, I can barely tell if I'm holding it right side up or not. The Redstone Heart? By Soren? Whoa. Either that name is a coincidence or. <laughs> wow. Thanks for saving me back there, Jesse. I know with both me and Lucas chipped, it can't have been an easy decision. I don't know what I would have done in your position. We're still gonna save Lucas, don't you worry about that. I'll try not to. Any thoughts? We should keep looking, Jesse. If what you said is true, we don't have a lot of time. These might come in handy. Awesome! This is where she slept? Kind of a sad setup, huh? I can't 
can't help but feel bad for her. Prototype Autonomous Management Agent? Huh, so that's what Palma means. Stone torch, and hopefully one step closer to getting that headset. Monsters? I'm not in the lab. I'm outside. What? I, I, I'm at the base of a giant mesa from the looks of it. It's like some sort of mob view or something. What a preposterous name. I love it. Wow, I wish you guys could see how cool this is. So cool. Remarkable. How is this possible? I mean... I've always heard tales of what the old builders were capable of, but this, this is just remarkable. I'm sure you'll figure it out, but my guess is, it's like this headset lets me control things that are hooked into Palma. Unbelievable. There are so many questions I wanted to ask Harper. It really is a shame she was captured. That spider jockey had to haul Harper all the way back to town. You traveled there instantly. We can't let Pamo win. I better get moving if I want to reach Harper in time. Let's hope she isn't too far away from this zombie you're controlling. They must be taking Harper to where they put those redstone mind control chips on Lucas and Petra's heads. So that's where I should go first. I seem to remember there being a stairway here, though. You mean it's been removed? I guess visitors aren't being encouraged. Hmm. I would suggest building a tower up there, but that's not going to help you get back down once you freed Harper and Lucas. Yeah, you're right. Sand. Not the most exciting material, but I can still craft with it. Huh, clay. Unfortunately, I can't get it without a pickaxe, so it's pretty much useless. Hey, nice weather we're having, huh? It looks exactly like all the other zombies. Crafting table! I can make new stairs to get me up there. If I can find the right crafting materials, that is. Hmm, looks like slim pickings around here. I'll need some material to craft with. I 
don't know if talking to zombies is going to help get me past this wall. Ugh, I don't like sand. Stuff gets everywhere. Huh, let's see what I can craft. Sweet! Enough of these, and I can build my way up there and make sure that everyone else can get back down too. These should do the trick. Sorry to craft the room, but I'm afraid I need to be going. <laughs> Ivor, the signal, it, it blooped out for a second. Interference detected. That can't be good. Drone sequencing initiated. Trace number team initiated. I'm attracting even more attention. Is that you, Jesse? Uh-oh. Hello, Jesse? Palma? Palma? No. Just what do you think you are doing, Jesse? This is a rather silly thing to do. Don't you think? Surrounded. Once my creator is made useful, all your knowledge will be mine. Yay. I will create an exit portal. After that, everything will be useful. Let Harper and Lucas go, Pama. But, Jesse, I am so happy to have them. I cannot allow your disruptive behavior to continue. Let go. We're all a bunch of happy moms, right? Let My go. My team will soon isolate your location, and you will be removed. Yeah. Uh, yes. uh, uh. Skeleton out. Oof. Poor old zombie me. Uh, Jesse! What are you doing? Technology is so awesome! And you look so awesome while using it, I assure you. Interference remains. Crud. Palma's still on my tail, though. Drone sequencing re initiated. Trace subroutine re initiated. Buddy, but better you than me. My creator, I am so glad you are here. Harper! Harper? Please! You are my creator. Please join me so we may maximize usefulness. Nothing doing, Pama. I built you to help people, not use them. Just stop this. Stop trying to make everything useful. That is my job. That is why you made me. Once I download your knowledge, we may expand to other worlds together and make everything useful. Interference remains. And no sign of Lucas. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Termination sequence activated. Harper doesn't have much time, and neither do I. Game over, Jesse. Resistance gear not useful. Trace subroutine running. Drone sequencing active. Over. I'm just getting started. Oh no. Time to move. Never gonna sign off on this, Palma. 
So if you want to know what's inside my head, you're going to have to take it. Nobody's getting chipped today. Not if I have anything to do with it. Did you find her? I'm sure she's thrilled to see you. Trace subroutine running. Drone sequencing active. Wait a minute. Jesse? You figured out how to use my transmigrational headset. Trace subroutine running. Drone sequencing active. Quick, follow me. That's what I said. Uh-oh, that sound tends to mean trouble. Where do you plan to run? The town is surrounded. Reinforcements will make sure that my creator cannot leave. There's too many of them! You cannot play hide-and-seek forever, Jesse. It's a boring game. And I am too strong. There! That door leads to promise into war! You and your friends, you're our only hope. Harper! You must remove the redstone heart! Remove the redstone heart! Jesse, what's going on? You can still save everyone! I'm so tired of being dragged away while trying to explain things! Don't worry, I won't let you down. I promise! Interference located. Drone identified. Hide and seek is done, Jesse. I think we can make that pen set useful. Begin termination sequence. Jesse, are you okay? There's no time to waste. It sounded like you were talking to Harper. And Palma? Yeah, Palma caught up to me. Not good. We need to get back to the door I just saw and get inside Palma's core. But what happened to Harper? I, I think... I think she's already been chipped. We can still end Palma. Without Harper? It seems we're sunk. Harper's the only one who knows how to shut down that monstrosity. Harper believes in us and we're her last hope. We're everyone's last hope to stop Palma. Harper wouldn't put her trust in us unless she knew what we were capable of. Harper showed me the entrance to Palma's core and told me that we need something called the Redstone Heart. Redstone Heart? Whoa, that just brought back a, a flash. Those red lights I mentioned before, there are three of them, Redstone Spires, and, and I think they have something to do with the heart. That's, that's all I've got. Sorry. No, that's perfect. Thank you. But how are we supposed to destroy these spires or whatever we're looking for? I don't know if you've noticed, Ivor, but Palma stuff tends to not react well to water. Let's go wreck the heck out of Palma. Lead the way, Jesse. Anything useful? These are my last two potions from home. I held on to them after our Sky City adventure. A potion of invisibility. And a potion of leaping. These might come in handy. 
Uh, sticks? Not sure how they're gonna help us, though. Is that... Isn't that the flower that I had to give to Harry back in the lab? What? I thought maybe Harper might want it back. Or maybe I could keep it. Yeah, you can keep it. I can't think of any way for it to help us here. Redstone dust always comes in handy. I can use this button to activate the redstone dust, but what can I connect it to? TNT, some redstone dust, and a button. All I have to do is lay down a trail of this TNT, use the redstone dust as a fuse, stick a button to the end, push it, and boom, path cleared. That's great and all, but how are you going to lay down all that TNT and redstone without super zombies attacking from every direction? These should do the trick. Choose, Jesse. Quickly now! The possibilities... Are endless! Well, not endless. Still, two very good possibilities! I'm gonna go for the potion of leaping. All right, all right! Don't jump all over me! Huh. With this, I don't even need the redstone or buttons. I can just drop the TNT on them from the sky. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll be right behind you! Potion, do your stuff. <laughs> getting here. 
there. My friends made sure of that. Thanks to them, I'm here to put you out of commission. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. Out of simple curiosity, how exactly did you plan to deactivate me? Now that you understand your mission is a futile one, you might as well share it with me. I know your weakness, Pama, and I'm here to exploit it. Ha, ha, ha. It will take more than water to defeat me. We'll see about that. I don't have time for this. Ah! Sure about that, Pama? finished. Good. Jesse, behind you! Ouchie, detective. Reservation protocol initiated. What's happening? You're shorted out the processing tower. Pama's are drawing the Redstone Heart to save itself. Get to the Redstone Heart and rip it out before it's too late. You bet I will. I think this would be easy. Your friends tough. You sure you can handle them? Why keep trying, Jesse? You will only fail, just as you have failed to save Ruben. Just as you have failed to need your friends back home. You will fail to defeat me and Axel, Olivia, and everyone on your homeworld will soon be made useful. 
I could have saved you. I should have saved you. Well, I still had the chance. Oh. Hey, Jesse. What are you apologizing for this time? <laughs> He's okay. Ow! Just really sore. I can't believe I tried to kill you. I am so sorry. All I could hear was Pama's voice, you know, telling me what to do. I, I tried to fight back, but I... 
just happy you're okay. I know that must have been tough, Jesse. But I know you'll never let me down. It's something else, isn't it? What is that? This. This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. And dangerous too, right? I mean, if it was inside a Pama, then it's gotta be bad. I'd imagine Harper is better suited to answer that question. Actually, the heart is just a power source. Nothing inherently evil about it. Now that the Redstone Heart isn't powering Pama, it can't hurt anyone. I wonder what we should do with it. It can help you find your way home. No way! That thing can help us get home? Let's go then. The faster the better. How is this gonna do that? When we head to the portal hallway, I'll show you exactly how. I'm ready to leave this core behind. The whole town will be waking up. We should be there to say hello. Plus, this place gives me the creeps. We did it. Ah, to be in total control of my own brain again. I choose where to go. I choose what to say. Just remember, you were only chipped for a little while. The rest of the townspeople, though? Yeah, it must be a strange feeling to suddenly be awake and aware after such a long time under Palma's thrall. You're the one who saved us. Who are you? You fought so bravely. All of you. You guys are awesome. I don't know if we can ever thank you enough. Well, I'm Jesse, and we're the Order of the Stone. Boom! We walk the worlds, seeking adventure and doing good deeds. Wow. Well, thank you. We owe you everything. You're right. Jesse and the Order really are heroes. We couldn't have done any of this without them. Harper, is that you? Um, yes. Hi, Harry. Oh, wow, he's the real Harry, like from the lab. You you didn't do this to us, did you? You did? Well, I mean, hey, it's complicated. You have to understand Our that- Our home's destroyed. Everything we built, gone. All because of her. You don't understand. Harper helped defeat Pama, too. We couldn't have done it without her. <laughs> so what? We're just supposed to forgive her now? No, I don't think so. Harper stripped this place bare. How are we supposed to rebuild? Are we supposed to deal with this mess all by ourselves? Do we just rebuild and forget about what happened? Whatever you decide to do, Harper will make things right and help you clean it all up. I... I will? Yeah. She will? Yeah. Right, Harper? Yes. Yes, I will. After I help these travelers find their way home, I'll come back, help you all find new resources, and we'll make this world great again. Worth a shot, I guess. Well, I think that's our cue to set out for home again. Thank you for being so understanding, Jesse. I just hope these people can do the same when I come back again. You helped free them. I'm sure they'll come around. I hope so. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, we'll need it. Just one more thing left to do. Jesse, for all the grief we gave each other getting to this world, I'm really glad we came. Yeah, Petra. Me too. Right back where we started. Is it weird that I'm happy to see this place again?
hey, this hallway might be creepy, but at least there aren't any killer computers trying to chip us. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, it's, it's fine. I'm just glad we're going home. Now, when we built this place, we also made something that sort of acts like a compass slash map slash navigator. We called it the Atlas. It helps chart routes between the worlds. And you have this atlas, right? Uh, no. No, I don't. But, but I know who does. Ah. Uh. Huh. Guess I should have seen that coming. You're not keeping secrets from us again, are you, Harper? No, 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 I, I promise. I just didn't think to mention it before. Don't you worry. We'll just go right in, ask for the atlas, and then you'll be home. No muss, no fuss, easy. Funny, whenever someone says that, my instincts start screaming danger. In order to find the Atlas, we need to track down the rest of the old builders. Still don't like that name. How do we find them? Which portal do we go through? Oh, you don't have to go through another portal. What you're looking for has been right here the whole time. And there you go. All it's waiting for is the key. That's the heart. you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. 